everyone, my name is Babhara Janman, number 17 from M5.1. Today I will talk about biology, so let's start. Biology, chapter 15, blood circular and lymphatic system. Every organism must exchange materials with its environment. Exchanges ultimately occurred at the cellular level. In unicellular organisms, these exchanges occur directly with the environment. For more cell making of multicellular organisms, direct exchange with the environment is not possible. Gills are an example of a specialized exchange system in animals. Internal transport and gas exchange are functionally related in most animals. So, how does a feathery frig help this animal survive? You can see that in the picture. They like have the gills. So Cooletary system link exchange surfaces with shell throughout the body. In small and or thin animals, cell can exchange material directly with the surrounding mediums. In most animals, transport systems connect the organs of exchange with the body cells. Most complex animals have internal transport systems that circulate through it. Most complex animals have internal transport systems that circulate flow through it. Crust to vascular cavities. Simple animals such as cnidarians have a body walls that is only two cell thick and that encloses a gastrovascular cavity. This cavity functions in both digest and distribution of substances throughout the body. Some cnidarians such as jellies have elaborate gastrovascular cavity. Flatworms have a gastrovascular cavities and a large surface area to volume ratio. This was like the pictures of the jelly, um, an idaries, and a flat womb. Open and closed circulatory systems. Most complex animals have either open or closed circulatory system. Both systems have three basic components. The first one is a circulatory fluid, um, which is a blood or a hemolymph. The second one is a set of tubes, so it is basically the blood vessel. The third one is a muscular pump or the heart. In insect other other pods and most mollusks, molluscs, oh, mollus, blood bathes the organ directly in an open circulatory system. In an open circulatory system there is no distinction between blood and inter instit sorry, interstitial fluid. And this general body fluid is more correctly called hemolymph. In a closed circulatory system, the blood is confined to vessel and is distinct from the interstitial fluid. Closed systems are most efficient at transporting circulatory fluid to tissues and cells. This was like the picture, like an open circulatory system and a closed one, which for this one, blood will not leak out. Organizations of vertebrate closed circulatory system. Humans and other vertebrates have a closed circulatory system, often called a cardiovascular system. So it will have three main types of blood vessels. The first one is arteries, which is away from the heart. Second, veins, which is toward the heart. And third one is capillaries, which is exchanged with body cells. Arteries branch into arterioles and carried blood to capillaries. Network of capillaries called capillary beds are the site of chemical exchange between the blood and the interstitial fluid. Venous conversion to veins, veins and return blood from capillaries to the heart. Vertebrate heart contains two or more chambers. Blood enters through an atrium and is pumped out through a ventricle. So an atria is receive of blood and the ventricles was to pump blood. This is a synchronous Single circulations and fish. Single circulations. Bony fish ray and shark have single circulation with a two chamber heart. In a single circulation, blood leaving the heart pass through the capillary blades before returning. Next is the um, double circulation which are like the amphibians, reptiles, and mammals have double circulation. Oxygen poor and oxygen rich blood, blood are pumped separately from the right and left side of the heart. In reptiles and mammals, oxygen poor blood flows through the pulmonary 
circuit to pump up oxygen through the lungs. In amphibians, oxygen poor blood flow through a pulmocutaneous circuit to pick up oxygen through the lungs and skin. Oxygen rich blood delivered oxygen through the systemic circuit. Double circulation maintains higher blood pressure in the organs than the single circulation. So this was like the amphibians, reptiles, and among birds. You can see like this is the brains. This is like a little bit separate, but it's not completely separate, you know. And um, we have an extra, extra question. All veins need to have low oxygen? The answer is no. Next is adaptations of circulatory system, amphibians. Frogs or amphibians have a three-chamber heart, which is they have like two arteries and one ventricle. The ventricle pump blood into a fork actually that split the ventricle output into the pulmocutaneous circuit and the systemic circuit. Under water, blood flow to the lungs is nearly shut off. Reptiles except bird. Turtles, snakes, and lizards have a three-chamber heart to add trees and one ventricle. In alligators, sediments, and other crocodilians, a septum particularly or fully divides the ventricle. Reptiles have double circulation with a pulmonary circuit lungs and a systemic circuit. So it will move from like right, right atrium to right ventricle to lungs to left atrium to left ventricle and into body. So the mammals. Mammals and birds have a full chamber heart with two atria and two ventricle. The left side of the heart pump and receive only oxygen rich blood, while the right side receive and pump only oxygen poor blood. Mammals and birds are endotherms and require more oxygen than ectotherms. Wait, the endotherms was like the regulates temperature in our body, and the ectotherms was the regulate temperature outside of our body. Coordinated circle, sorry, coordinated cycles of heart contraction drive double circulation in mammals. Blood beginning flows with the right ventricle pumping blood to the lungs. In the lungs, the blood loads oxygen and unloads the carbon dioxide. Oxygen rich blood from the lungs enter the heart at the left atrium and is pumped through the arta to the body tissue by the left ventricle. The aorta provides blood to the heart through the coronary arteries. Blood returns to the heart through the superior, superior vena cava, which is the oxygenated blood from head, neck, and forelimbs, and inferior vena cava, the oxygen, the oxygenated blood from trunk and head limbs. So the superior vena cava is like um all above like the heart and the inferior vena cava is anything that below the heart. The superior vena cava and inferior vena cava flow into the right atrium. So there is a picture of the inferior um, and a superior vena cava. And there was like all the organs that uh, have left ventricle, left atrium, right atrium, right ventricle, and it will have like a valve between the heart. Um, the heart over here, it will have a name like mitral veil or bicuspid veil. It is like two pieces that have to protect the um the flow that can be reversed. The mammalian's heart. A closer look. A closer look at the mammalian heart. Heart provides a better understanding of double circulation. Right side equal deoxygenate the blood from body pump to lungs. Lungs equal to gas exchange. Left side is an oxygenated blood from lungs pump to the body. The heart contracts and relaxes in a rhythmic cycle called the cardiac cycle. The contractions or pumping phase is called systole. The relaxation or filling phase is called diastole. Blood pressure equal to systolic um, and switch with the diastolic. So if you want to say entire systolic is gonna be diastolic is gonna cry the wall. And this was like the picture of the heart over here. The mammalian heart. 
The heart rate, also called like the pulse, is the number of beats per minute. The stroke volume is the amount of blood pumped into a single contraction. The cardiac output is the volume of blood pump into the systemic circulation per minute and depends on both the heart rate and stroke volume. So this was the heart rate. It was 0.1 seconds, 0.3 seconds, and 0.4 seconds. Um, you can see that in here we have a vowel and, and a sisto, which is the gambitua phase. For veils prevent black flows of blood into the heart. The atrioventricular or the AV valves separate each atrium and ventricle. The seminolar valves control blood flow to the aortas and the pulmonary artery. The looped up sound of a heartbeat is caused by the recall of blood against the AV veil, then against the supinary, oh, then against the semilunar valves. So when it's hit like the AV valve, it will like have a sound loop, and when it's against the semilunar valves, it have the doop sound. Loop doop loop doop loop doop loop doop loop doop loop doop loop doop. Loop doop, loop doop, loop doop. Like this, and blood flow of blood through a detective, defective valve causes a heart murmur, maintaining the heart rhythmic beat. Some cardiac muscle cells or self excitables equal they contract without any signal from the nerve nerve system. The sinoatrial or the SA node or peace markers set the rate and timing at which cardiac muscle cell contract. In process from the SA node travel to the atrioventricular or the AV node. At the AV node, the impulses are delayed and then travel to the Purkin G fibers that make the ventricles contract. In process that travel through that travel during the cardiac cycles can be recorded as an electrocardiogram or ECG or EKG. The peacemakers is influenced by nerves, hormones, body temperature, and exercise. So this was like the steps of the control of the heart rhythm. So the first one is like that peacemaker generate waves of signals to contract. And the second one is like signals are delayed at the AV node and then signal pass to the heart apex. Then the signal spread throughout the ventricles. Patterns of blood pressure and flow reflect the structure and arrangement of blood vessel. The physical principles that govern moment movement of body in pumping systems also influence the functioning of animal circulatory systems. The epithelial layers that lines blood vessel is called the endotheliums. This is like the structure of blood vessels. So. Over here, I'll go in details with the arteries. So arteries um, need to handle like, the pressure because like, the muscle was more nengua, more dense, um, and and it was like like gua ling yam. Because now, yeah, artery, yeah, คือมันก็จะยิ่งคือ artery อ่ะมันต้องทำความดันใช่ไหมเพราะแบบมาโซมาคือแบบมันจะเน้นกว่าแล้วก็เล็กกว่าแล้วก็คือถ้าตามหลักแบบสูตรของ A1 หนึ่งวีหนึ่งเท่ากับ A2 องวีสองเนี่ยคือยิ่งเร็วมันจะยิ่งถ้าอยากให้ต้องการให้มันเร็วมากๆมันก็ต้องยิ่งเล็กเพราะฉะนั้นยิ่งเล็กยิ่งเร็วอืมส่วนวาล์วเนี่ยคือมีเฉพาะในเวเพื่อการไม่ให้แบบเกิดการไหลกลับเพราะฉะนั้นเนี่ยคือมันจะยิ่งเร็วมันก็ต้องยิ่งเล็กยิ่งเร็วอืมส่วนวาล์วเนี่ยคือมีเฉพาะในเวเพื่อการไม่ให้แบบเกิดการไหลกลับแล้วก็ capillary size ก็คือเท่ากับ7ไมครอนนะคะเพราะฉะนั้นเนี่ยคือมันจะยิ่งเร็วมันก็ต้องยิ่งเล็กยิ่งเร็วอืมส่วนวาล์วเนี่ยคือมีเฉพาะในเวเพื่อการไม่ให้แบบเกิดการไหลกลับแล้วก็ capillary size ก็คือเท่ากับ7ไมครอนนะคะ Capillaries have thin walls, the endothelium plus the spacemen membrane to facilitate the exchange of materials. Arteries and veins have an endothelium smooth muscles and connective tissue. Arteries have thicker walls that veins to accommodate the high pressure of blood pump from the heart. In the thinner wall vein, blood flow back to the heart mainly as a result of a muscle action. Blood vessel, blood flow. Blood flow velocities, physical laws governing movement of fluid through pipes affect blood flow and blood pressure.
and blood pressure. Velocities of blood flow is lowest in the capillary beds and a result of high resistance and large total cross-section area. Blood flow in capillaries is necessarily slow for exchange of materials. And this was the picture. Blood pressure. Blood pressure is the hydrostatic pressure that blood exerts against the wall of the vessel. In rigid vessel, blood pressure is maintained. Less rigid vessels deform and blood pressure and blood pressure pressure is lost. Changes in blood pressure during the cardiac cycles. Systolic pressure is the pressure in the arteries during ventricle contraction or like um systole. It is the highest pressure in the arteries. That's Systolic pressure is the pressure in the arteries during relaxations or diastole. It is lower than systolic pressure. A pause is the rhythmic bottlings of artery walls with each heartbeat. Regulations of blood pressure. Blood pressure is determined by cardiac output and peripheral resistance due to, due to constrictions of arteriolus. Vasoconstriction is the contractions of smooth muscles in atrial walls. It increases blood pressure. Vasodilation is the relaxation of smooth muscle in the arteries. It causes blood pressure to fall. Vasoconstriction and vasodilation help maintain adequate blood flow as the body demands change. The peptide endothelin is an important inducer of vasoconstriction. Blood pressure is generally measured for an artery in the arm at the same height as the heart. Blood pressure for a healthy 20 years old at rest is 120 mmHg at systole slash 7 dmmHg at diastole. So mmHg is like an like a unit of a pressure. And, and this was like all the pressure. Or oh, here the five Momentometers is like kilomarkwam done, but this way is like um a little bit old way I think. Fainting is caused by adequate blood flow to the head. Animals with longer neck require a higher systole leg pressure to pump blood a greater distance against gravity. Blood is moved through vein by smooth vessel contraction, skeleton muscle contraction, and expansion of the vena cava with inhalations. When vein valves in vein or heart prevent blood flow of blood, circulatory function. Oh, this was a pressure. Oh, this, sorry. This was is a picture of blood flow in veins. Next, the capillary function. Capillaries in major organ usually fill the cavity. Blood supplies varies in many other sites. Two mechanisms regulate distributions of blood in capillary beds. So the first one is the contraction of the smooth muscle layer in the valve and atrial constrict the vessel. The second one is pre the precapillary sphincters controls flow of blood between arterioles and venues. The critical sections of substance between the blood and interstitial fluid take places across the thin endothelial walls of the capillaries. The difference between blood pressures and osmotic pressure drive fluid out of capillaries at the atrial end and into capillaries at the venue end. This was a picture of the blood flow in capillary base. So this TIA blood flow yeah, faster and you need to close the sphincters. And this was the capillary sphincters. Sphincters come up in Vayana. Mm. Blood returned by the lymphatic systems. The lymphatic system return Fluid that leaks out in the capillary beds, restoring filtered fluid to blood maintains homeostasis. Homeostasis balance. Fluid exchange between capillaries and the insert tissue fluids. ตอนนี้คืออัสโมติกเพรสเชอร์ก็คือมาจากของที่ใช่มั้ยแต่ว่าไฮโดรสแตติกเพรสเชอร์นี่คือมาจากคอลลูนต่อเอ่อแอนด
indirectly through the lymphatic system. The lymphatic system drains to neck veins, lymph nodes are organ that produce phagocytic white blood cell, a future limb and important role in the body defense. Endema or thumbnail is swelling because of the disruption in the flow of lymph, blood composition and function. Blood consists of several kinds of blood cells suspended in a liquid matrix called plasma. The cellular elements, red blood cell, white blood cell, and pellets occupy about 45% of the volume of blood. And this was a picture. Plasma. Blood plasma is about 90% water. Among solids or inorganic, or inorganic salts in the form of dissolved ions, sometimes called electrolytes. Another important class of solutes is the plasma protein, which influences blood pH, osmotic pressure, and viscosity. Various plasma protein fluid, vari various plasma protein function in liquid, in lipid transport immunities and blood clotting. Plasma transport nutrients, gases, and cell waste. Cellular elements suspended in blood plasma are two types of cell. White blood cells and trocytes transport oxygen. White blood cell leukocytes function in defense. Platelets are fragments of cells that are involved in blood clotting. Erythrocytes or like the oxygen transport. Red blood cells or electrocytes are by far the most numerous blood cell. They transport oxygen throughout the body. It contains hemoglobin. The iron contains protein that transport oxygen. The next one is the leukocytes, which is like the red blood cell. Um, they function as defense. There are five major types of white blood cells or leukocytes, which are the monocytes, neutrophils, basophils, eosinophils, and the lymphocytes. They function in defense by phagocytes and bacteria in debris or by producing and antibodies. They are found both in, uh, in and outside the circulatory system, pellets, blood clothing. Pellets are fragments of cells and function in blood clothing. When the endothelium of a blood vessel is damaged, the clothing mechanism begins. A cascade of complex reactions convert fibrinogens to fibrin, forming a cloth. A blood clot formed within a blood vessel is called a thrombus and it can block blood flow. This was like blood clotting picture. You can read it. Um, stem cells and the replacement of cellular elements. The cellular elements of blood wear it out and are replaced constantly throughout a person's life. Erectile sites, leukocytes, and platelets are developed. And platelets are developed from a common source of cells st of stem cells in the red marrow of bone. The hormone erythropoietin or EPO stimulates erect erythrocytes production when oxygen delivery is low. And this was the picture of the differentiations of blood cell. Cardiovascular disease equal like the disorders of the heart and the blood vessel. One type of cardiovascular disease, arthrosclerosis, is caused by the ill build of a plaque plaque deposit within arteries. A heart attack is a death of cardio cardiac muscle tissue resulting from. <coughs> Ask you. Sorry. Is the death of cardiac muscle tissue resulting from blockage of one or more coronary arteries? A stroke is the death of numerous tissue in the brain, usually resulting from rupture or blockage of artery in the brain or head. Atherosclerosis. Um, this is the picture. Treatment and diagnosis of cardiovascular disease. Cholesterol is a major contributor to atherosclerosis. Low density lipoproteins or LDL. Bad cholesterol are associated with PACU 
formation. High density lipoprotein or HDL is a good cholesterol. Reduce the depositions, de- the depositions of cholesterol. Hypertension equal like a high blood pressure promotes atherosclerosis and increases of risk of heart attack and stroke. Hypertension is a d i s o r d Hypertension can be reduced by dietary changes, exercise, and or like the medications. Yeah. Next, chapter 16, the immune system, recognizes, recognizes, and uh, response. b e r r y help an animal to defend itself from the many, from the many da- dangerous pathogens and. Dangerous pathogens it may encounter. The immune system recognizes foreign bodies equal not selves and respond with the productions of immune cells and proteins. Two major kinds of defense have involved innate immunities and acquired immunity. Innate immunity is present before any exposure to pathogens and is effective from the time of birth. It involves specific responses to pathogens. In the immunities, consists of external barrier plus internal cellular and chemical defense. Acquire immunity, adapt, which is an adaptation immunity developed from exposure to agents such as microbes, toxins, or other foreign substance. It involves a very specific response to pathogens. This was the animal immunity. It have an innate immunity, which is the recognition of traits shared by broad ranges of pathogens using a small set of receptor, and it have a non-specific, which is like the rapid response. It have a barrier, barrier defenses, which are like the skin, mucous membranes, secretions, and for the internal defenses have phagocytic cells, antimicrobial proteins, inflammatory response, natural killer cells. Acquire immunity, um, the like recognition of traits specific to particular pathogens using a vast area of receptor slowly response. h u m o r response, antibody defense against infection in body fluid. s t e r i l mediate response, cytotoxic, lympho- lymphocytes defense, defense against infection in body cell. Antibodies is like the proteins that secrete by our body and maybe. Can kill the pathogens, and cytotoxic is like the seven pit. For innate immunity, recognitions and response relay on shared traits of pathogens. Both invertebrates and vertebrates depend on innate immunity to fight infection. Vertebrates also develop acquired immune defenses. The immune system recognizes bacteria and fungi. Fungi by structures on the cell wall, and immune response vary with the class of pathogen encountered. In the immunities of invertebrates, invertebrates, in in insects and exoskeletons made of c i t i n g forms of r e s p i r a t o r to pathogens. The digestive system is prote- protected by low pH and lysosomes, an enzyme that digests microbial cell walls. Hemocytes circulate within hemolymph and carry out phagocytosis. That ingestion and digestion of foreign substance, including bacteria, hemocytes also secrete antimicrobial peptides that disrupt that disrupt the plasma membrane of bacteria. Phagocytosis is like our skin yeah yeah how so? In the immunity defenses of vertebrates. The immune system of membranes is the best understood of the vertebrates. i n n e r defenses include barrier defenses, phagocytosis, and tree microbial peptides. Additions defenses are unique to vertebrates. The inflammatory response and natural killer cells. Inflammatory response, like when b a b cut o s o n h a t with the b a c t e r i no. So natural killer cells, like use 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 cell to hurt. Barrier defenses. Barrier defenses include the skin and mucous membranes, the respi- respiratory, urinary, and reproductive traits. Tracts. Mucous traps 
and all of for the removal of microbes. Many body fluids, including saliva, mucus, and tears, are hostile to microbes. The low pH of skins and the digestive system prevent growth of microbes, cellular innate defenses, white blood cells go to leukocytes and of pathogens in the body via phagocytosis. Groups of pathogen pathogens are recognized by TLR or like the toll like receptors of white blood cell and gut microbe then fuses with the lysosome to destroy the microbe. There are different types of pathogenic cells. Um, this have the first one is neutrophils, which they engulf and destroy microbes. The second one is the eosinophils. They discharge destructive enzymes. The third one is macrophages, which they are the part of the lymphatic system and are found throughout the body. The fourth one is a dendritic cell. They stimulate the development of acquired immunity. And this was like the picture. Antimicrobial peptides and proteins. Peptides and proteins function in innate defense by detecting um, microbes directly or impedi by um, in, impedi their reproduction. Interferon proteins provide innate defense against viruses, viruses and help activate macrophages. About 30 proteins make up the complement system, which causes by lysis of invading cells or help trigger inflammation. Inflammatory responses following an injury, mast cell release histamines, which promote changes in blood vessel. This is part of the inflammatory response. The changes increase local blood supply and allow morphocytes and antimicrobial proteins to enter tissues. Post equals a fluid rich in white blood cell dead microbes and cell debris accumulates at the site of at the site of inflammation. Inflammation can be either local or systemic throughout the body. Fever is a systemic inflammatory response triggered by phagogens released by macrophages and toxins from phagogens. Septic shock is a life-threatening condition caused by an overwhelming inflammatory response. The intraocular cell, all body cells except red blood cell, have a class 1 MHC protein on the surface. MHC, so MHC is the major histocompatibility complex which is a part of the extracellular matrix. Class two MHC protein molecules are found on specialized cells. Cancerous or infected cells are no longer expressed as PHC proteins. Natural killer or NK cells attack these damaged cells. In the immune system, investments by pathogens. Some pathogens and distractions by modifying the surface to prevent recognitions or by resisting breakdown following phagocytosis. Tuberculosis or TB is one such disease that kills more than a million people a year. In acquired immunity, lymphocyte receptors provide pathogen specific recognitions. White blood cells called lymphocytes um, recognize and respond to antigens for molecules. Lymphocytes that mature in the thymus above the heart are called the T cells, and those that mature in bone marrow are called the B cells. It was easy to remember. Thymus, T cells, bone, marrow, B cells. Lymphocytes contribute to the immunological memories and enhance response to foreign molecules and capture previously. Cytokines are secreted by macrophage and dendritic cell to recruit um, and activate lymphocytes. Acquired immunity, or like the active immunity. The, or the active immunity. Um, so let's talk this in a specific way. So B cells and T cells have receptor proteins that can that can bind to foreign molecules. Each in each individual lymphocyte is specialized to recognize a specific type of molecules. An antigen is any foreign molecules to which a lymphocyte responds. A single B cell or T cell has about 100,000 identical antigen receptors. Antigen receptors are on a single lymphocyte, recognize the same epitopes or antigenic determinant on an antigen. 
B cells give rise to a plasma cell with secret protein called antibodies or immunoglobin. So this will be the picture. Um, the antigen binding size can be changed according to the antigens. And for this, like, um, for the letter C over here is constant regions. So it can be like identifying. B cell receptor will have like that Y shape, but the T cell receptor will be like a straight shape, I think. The antigen receptors of B cells and T cells. B cells receptor bind to specific intact contingent antigens. The B cells receptor consists of two identical heavy change and two identical light change. The tips of the chain form a constant C region and each chain contains a variable V region, so named because its amino acid sequences vary intensively from one B cell to another. Secret antibodies or immunoglobins are structurally similar to B cell receptor, but let tracks but lack transmembrane, reaching the anterior receptors in the plasma membrane. Each T cell receptor consists of two different polypeptide chains. The tips of the chain form a variable V regions, the rest is the constant C region. T cells can bind to an antigen that is free or on the surface of a pathogen. T cell bind to antigen fragment presence on a whole cell. These antigen fragments are bound to cell surface protein called MHC molecules. MHC molecules are so named because they are encoded by a family or genes, many unique or specific, called the major histocompatibilities complex. The role of the MHC in infected cell MHC molecules bind and transport antigen fragments to the cell surface, a process called antigen presentation. A nearly a nearby T cell can t can then detect the antigen fragment displaying the cell surface. Depending on their source, peptide antigens are handled by different classes of MHC molecules. Antigen presentation main MHC molecules are shown in the picture. Class one MHC molecules are found in almost all nucleated cells of the body. They display peptides antigens to cytotoxic T cells. Class two MHC molecules are found on specialized cells, which are the macrophages, B cells, and activated T cells. Cell class two MHC molecules are located mainly on dendritic cell macrophages and B cell. Dendritic cells, macrophages, and B cells are antigen presenting cells that display antigens on their surface to cytotoxic T cells and help with T cell. Helper T cells release more of the antibodies. Lymphocyte development. The acquired immune system has three important properties. Um, they have receptor, div receptor diversity, like of reactivity against whole cell, immunological memory. Generations of lymphocytic, sorry, generation of lymphocyte diversities by gene rearrangement. Differences in the variable region accounts for specificity specificities of antigen receptor, the immunoglobin or IT. Genes encode to encode of the B cell receptor. Many different genes can be produced by the same IG change gene that are rearrangement of the DNA. Rearrangement DNA is transcribed and translated and the antigen receptor formed. Origin of tel origins of self tolerance. Antigen Receptors are generated by random rearrangement by DNA. As levels like mature in bone marrow at the time, they are tests for self-reactivity. Lymphocytes with receptors specific for the body-owned molecules are destroyed by apoptosis or render non-functional. Amplifying lymphocytes by Colonial selection. In the body, there are few lymphocytes with antigen reporters for any particular epitope. The binding of a mature lymphocyte to an antigen induces the lymphocyte to divide rapidly. This proliferation of lymphocyte is called clonal selection. Two types of clonal are produced short lived activated effector cells, which they fight current battle and live long memory cells for future attract specific pathogens. The first exposures to a specific 
antigen represent the primary immune response during this time. Effector B cell equals to plasma cell ungenerated, and T cells are activated to their effector's form. In the secondary immune response, it will the memory cell facilitate a faster move efficient response. Acquired immunity defends against infections of body cells and fluids. Acquired immunity has two branches, the humoral immune response and the cell immediate immune response. Humoral immoral, humoral immune response involves a activations and clonal selections of B cell, resulting in productions of secreted antibodies. Cell mediations immune response involve activations and clonal selection of cytotoxic T cell. Helper T cells aid both responses. This was the picture. Helper T cell responds to nearly all antigens. A surface protein called CD4 binds the class two MHC molecules. This binding keeps the helper T cell during the antigen presenting cell while activation occurs. Activated helper T cells secrete cytokines that stimulate other lymphocytes. Positive feedback in the immune system enhances the process, process until some endpoint or maximum rate it is rich. Cytotoxin T cell a response to infected cells, cytotoxic T cells are the effector cell in cell mediate immune response. Cytotoxic T cell makes CD8, a surface protein that greatly enhances interaction between a target cell and a cytotoxic T cell, binding to a class 1 MHC complex on an infected cell ATV activates a cytotoxic T cell and makes it an active killer. The activated cytotoxic T cell separates proteins that destroy the affected target cell. B cell respond to extracellular pathogens. The humoral response is character characterized by secretions of antibodies by B cell. Activations of B cell is aided by cytokines and antigens binding to helper T cell. Clonal selections of B cells generate antibodies, secreting plasma cell, the effector cells of humoral immunity's positive fixed feedback. Antibody classes, the five major classes of antibodies or immunoglobin, differ in distributions and function. Polyclonal antibodies are the products of many different clones of B cells following exposure to a microbial antigen. Monoclonal antigens are prepared from a single clone of B cell grown in culture. So the five antibody or immunoglobulin or the IG classes are as follow. Class of immunoglobin antigens IgM or pentamers. It have five arms, so we call the pentamers. So it was the first IG class produced after initial exposed to antigen. Then its concentration in the blood declines. The function is to promote neutralization and cross linking of antigens, very effective and complement system activa activation. Next, the IG monomers. Most abundant IG class in blood are still present in tissue fluid. Function is plummet opsonizations, neutralizations, and cross-linking of antigens, less effective in active activations of complement system than IgM. Only Ig classes crosses placenta thus conferring passive immunity and fetus. So um let's make a hard long passive got active immune and huh Active immune is like a lot of people who are not immune. They are 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 immune. Active immune is a child, 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 a 
มาอะไรงนี้อืมคือถ้าพูดง่ายๆคือ passive มีมูคือเราไม่ได้สร้างเองอะ่ะคือเราสร้างเราสร้างโดยที่เอามาจากคนอื่นเนี่ยอืมนักนะคะก็เป็น I G A นะคะก็คือ Diamond Present in situations such as tears, l e v e l m u n c u s and b r e a t spill, provides locations defense of mucus membrane by cross-linking and neutralizations of antigens present in bees, confers passive immunities on nursing infants. I G monomers present in blood at low concentration. Triggers release from mast cell and b i s o f i l s of histamine and other chemicals that cause allergic reaction. ID monomers present primarily on surface of bee cell that have not been exposed to antigens. Act as antigen receptor in the antigen stimulated proliferation and differentiation of bee cell or the clonal selection. The role of antibodies in immunity. Neutralizations occur when a p h a t o g e n can no longer infect a host because it is bound to an antibody. o p t i m i z a t i o n s occur when antibodies bound to antigens increase phagocytosis. Antibodies together with proteins of the complement system generates a membrane of drug complex and cell lysis. Active immunizations, active immunity. t e e s develop naturally in response to an infection. It can also develop fo- following or form immunization, also called vaccination, in immunization, a non-pathogenic form of a microbe or part of a microbe ele- elicites an immune response and immunological memory. Passive immunity, pa- passive immunity provide immediate short-term protection. It is confirmed and truly when I G. G cross the placentas from mom to fetus, or when IgA passes from mother to infant in breast milk, it can also be conferred artificially by injecting antibodies into a non non immune person. Immune rejection, so transfer from one person to another can be attract can be attacked by immune defenses. This complicates blood transfusion or intense blood of tissues or organ. m h c molecules are different among genetically non-identical individual. Differences in m h c molecules stimulate re- rejection of tissue, graft, and organ transplant. Changes of successful transplantation increase if donors are r e c i p i e n t s m h c tissue types are well matched. Immunosuppressed drug facilitate transplantation. Lymphocyte in bone marrow transplants may cause the dye donor tissue to reject the recipient blood group. Antigens on red blood cell surface determine whether a person has blood type A antigen, B B antigen, A B, both B and A antigens, or O neither antigen. Antibodies to non-self blood types exist in the body. Transfusion with incompatible blood leads to destruction of the tra- transfused cell. r e c i p i e n t donors' combinations can be fatal or safe. Disruption in, in immune system function can exit or exacerbate disease. <laughs> Some pathogens have evolved to diminish the effective of host immune responses. If the delicate, if the delicate balance of immune system is disrupted, effects range from minor to often fatal. Allergies, allergies of a c i d r a t e hypersensitive response to antigen called allergens. In locations, allergies such as hay fevers. IgE antibodies produced after first exposure to an allergen s a t t a c h e d to receptor on mast cell. The next time the allergen s enter the body, it's bound to mast cell associate IgE molecules. Mast cells increase. Oh, sorry. Mast crew, mast cell release horm- histamines and other mediates that cause vascular change.
leading to typical allergy symptoms. Um, I will change a, a little bit over here. That, that. That cause vascular change leading to typical allergy symptoms. An acute allergy response can lead to anaphylactic shock, a life threatening reaction that can occur within seconds of allergens exposed. A thyroid disease, an individual with autoimmune diseases, the immune system losses tolerance for self injuring against certain molecules of the body. Autoimmune disease includes systemic lupus. Erythematous, rheumatoid, arthritis, insulin dependent diabetes mellitus, and multiple sclerosis. Sclero sclerosis. <laughs> Exertion stress and the immune system. Moderate exercise improve immune system function. Physiological stress have been shown to disrupt hormone, nerves, and immune system. Immunodeficiency disease. Inborn immunodeficiency result from hereditary or developmental defects that prevent proper functioning, functioning of innate humoral and or cell mediated defenses. Acquired immunodeficiency result from exposure to cell and biological agents. Acquired immunodeficiency syndrome AIDS is caused by a virus. Acquired immune system evasion by pathogens. Pathogens have involved mechanisms to attack immune responses. The antigenic variation. Some pathogens are able to change epitope's expression and prevent recognition. The human influenza virus mutates rapidly and new flu vaccines must be made each year. Human viruses occasionally exchange genes with the virus of the domesticated animals. This poses a danger as human immune system are unable to recognize a new viral strain. Latency. Some virus may remain in the holes in an active in active state called latency. Herbs simple virus can be present in a human host without causing symptoms. Attack on the immune system or the HIV. Human immunodeficiency virus or HIV infects helper T cell. The loss of helper T cells impair both the humoral and cell mediate immune responses and lead to AIDS. HIV eludes the immune system because of antigenic variation and an ability to remain latent while integrated with host DNA. People with AIDS are highly susceptible to opportunistic infection and cancer that take advantage of an immune system and collapse. The spread of HIV is a worldwide problem. The best approach for slowing this spread is education about particles that transmit the virus. Cancer and immunities, the frequencies of certain cells increases when the immune response is impaired. To suggest ex explanations are first, the immune system normally suppresses cancerous cells. Second one is the increase inflammation increases the risk of the cancer. Our last, chap our last chapter is the chapter 17, osmoregulation and excretions. A balancing act, physiological system of animals operate in a fluid environment. Relative contractions of water and solutes must be maintained within very narrow limits. Osmoregulations regulate solutes contraction and balance the gain and loss of water. Fresh water, animals show adaptations that reduce water uptake and conserve solutes. Desert and marine animals face desiccating environment that can quickly deplete body water. Excretion get rid of nitrogenous metabolics and other waste products. Osmoregulation balance 
the uptake and loss of father and salutes. All small regulation is based largely on control movement of salutes between internal fluids and the external environment, so it requires a balance between osmotic gains and loss of water. Osmolarity is equal to the solute's concentration of the solution, determines the movement of water across a selectively permeable membrane. If two solutions are isoosmotic, iso the movement of water is equal in both directions. If two solutions differ in osmolarities, the net flow of water is from the hypoosmotic to the hyperosmotic solution. Osmotic challenges. Osmocon formers consisting only of some marine animals are isoosmotic with their surrounding and do not regulate their osmolarities. Osmoregulators depends expand earlier to control water uptake in a hypoosmotic environment and loss in hyperosmotic environment. Most animals are stenohaline still highlined, they cannot tolerate substantial changes in external osmolarities. Urehaline animals can survive large fluctuations in external osmolarities. This will see the Sokia salmon over here. Marine animals. Most marine invertebrates are osmoconformers. Most marine vertebrates and some invertebrates and some invertebrates are osmoregulators. Marine bony fish are hypoosmotic to seawater. They lose water by osmosis and gain salts by diffuse and from water. They balance water loss by drinking seawater and excreting salt. Freshwater animals. Freshwater animals constantly take in water by osmosis from hypoosmotic environment. They allow cell by diffusion and maintain water balance by excreting a large amount of dilute urine. Salt loss by diffusion and replace in fluid, in food and by uptake across the gills. Freshwater animals. Freshwater animals constantly take in water by osmosis from their hypoosmotic environment. They allow water by diffusion and maintain water balance by excreting a large amount of dilute urine. Salt lost by diffuse diffusion or replacing food and biotic across the gills. Animals that live in temporarily waters, some aquatic in invertebrates in temporarily pond lost almost all their body water and survive in a dormant state. The adaptation is called an hydrobiosis. This was a picture. And hydrobiosis, it was like exactly like the adaptation. Land animal, land animals manage water budgets by drinking and eating most moist food and using metabolic water. Desert animals get major water saving from simple anatomical features and behavior such as nocturnal lifestyle and energetics of osmoregulation. Osmoregulation must expend energy to maintain osmotic gradient. Animal regulates the compositions of body fluid that bath their cell. Transport epithelia are specialized epithelial cells that regulate salute movement. There are essential components of osmotic regulations and metabolic waste deposit that are arranged in complex tubular network. An example is in salt glands of marine burn, which remove excess sodium chloride from the blood. An animal nitrogenous waste reflect its physiology and habitat. The types and quantity of an animal waste products may greatly affect its water balance. Among the most important ways are nitrogenous breakdown products of protein and nucleic acid. Some animals convert toxic 
ammonia in his speed to less toxic compounds superior to excretion. Animals excrete different forms of nitrogenous waste. Ammonia needs lots of water. Animals release ammonia across whole body surface or through gills or aquatic animals. Urea. The livers of mammals and most adult amphibians convert ammonia to less toxic urea. The circulatory system carries urea to kidneys where it is excreted. Conversion of ammonia to urea is energetically expensive, uses less water than ammonia. Nitrogenous waste. Uric acid, which is the insects, land nails, and many reptiles, including birds, mainly excrete uric acid. Uric acid is largely insoluble in water, can be secreted as a paste with little water loose. Uric acid is more energetically expensive to produce than urea. The kind of nitrogenous waste excreted depend on an animal's evolutionary history and habitats. The amount of hydrogenous waste is coupled to the animal energy budget. Budget. Bucket. Diverse excretory system or variations on a tubular theme. Excretory system regulates solute movement between internal fluids and the external environment. Most excretory system produce urine by refining a filtrate dewey from body fluid. Key function of most excretory system is the filtration, which is the pressure firing of body fluids, reabsorption, becoming valuable, valuable solutes, secretion, adding toxin, adding toxins and other solutes from the body fluids to the filtrate, excretion, removing the filtrate from the system. Survey of excretory system. Systems that perform basic excretory functions vary widely among animal groups. They usually involve a complex network of tubules, protonor phrygia, flame cells, or planaria, montanier phrygia, earthworm, or similar to nephrons, mephigens, tubes, tubeless, tubeless insects. Nephrons is the function units of the kidney or human. Protonifrida. A protonifrida is a network of dead ends tubes, tubeless, connect to external opening. The smallest branches of the network are ca- capped by a cellular unit called flat bulb. These tubeless ca- excrete uh, dilute fluids and functional function in osmal regulation. Let me get a water for a second. Methanophrygia. Such oh. each segment of an earthworm has a pair of open end methanophrygia. Methanophrygia consists of tubules that collect coelomic fluid and produce dilute urine from excretion. Melpians tubules in insect and other terrestrial other tubes. Melphigens tubules remove nitrogenous waste from hemolymph and function in osmol regulation. Insects produce a relatively dry waste matter and import adaptation to terrestrial life. Kidney nephrons equal to functional unit. Kidney excretory organs of vertebrates function in both excretion and osmol regulation. Mammalia excretory system centers on pair kidney, which are also the principal site of water glands and salt regulation. Each kidney is supplied with blood by a renal artery and drained by a renal vein. Urine exits each kidney, exit each kidney through a duet called the ureter. 
Both urine turns right into a common urinary bl- bladder and urine is expelled through a u- urethra. The new frown include the functional units of the vertebrae cre- kidney. Consists of a single long tube, tubus, and a ball of capillaries called the glomerulus. Bowman's capsule surround and receive filtrate from the glomerulus capillaries. Filtrations glomerulus or the tube bound Bowman capsule. Filtrations occur as blood pressures equal to the hydrostatic pressure forces fluid from the blood in the glomerulus to lumens of Bowman capsule. Filtrations of small molecules is non-selective. The filtrate contains salt, glucose, and amino acid, vitamins, nitrogenous bases, and other small molecules. Pathway of the filtrate. From Bowman capsule, the filtrate passes through three regions of the nephron, the proximal tubules, to the loop of Helle to the distal tubule. Fluid from several neurons flow into a collecting, the, collecting duct to renal pelvis to greater. Cortical neurons are confined to the renal cortex while juxtamedullary neurons have loop of Helle that this descends into the renal medulla. Blood vessels associate with the nephrons. The nephron is supplied with blood by a efferent arterial equal to a branch of the renal artery that divides into the capillaries. The capillaries converge as they leave the glomerulus, forming an effer- efferent arterial. The vessel divide again, forming the peritubular capillaries, which surround the proximal and distal tubules. Vasa recta or capillaries that serve the loop of Helle. The vessel Vasa recta and the loop of the Helle function as a counter current system. The mammal and kidney conserve water by producing urine that is much more concentrated by much more concentrated than body fluid. The nephron is organized for stepwise processing of blood filtrate. Proxima tubu. Reabsorption of water, ions, and nutrients take place in the proximal tubu. Molecules are transported actively and passively, passively from the filtrate into the interstitial fluid. and the capillaries, some toxic materials are secreted in the filtrate. The filtrate volume decreases. Descending limbs of the loops of Helle, reabsorption of water con- countries through channels formed by aquaporin proteins. Movement is driven by the high osmolarities of the interstitial fluid, which is hyperosmotic to the filtrate. The filtrate beque- becomes increasingly concentrated, ascending limbs of the loops of the helle, and the ascending limbs of the loop of the helle, salt, salt but not water is able to diffuse from the tube blue into the interstitial fluid. The filtrate becomes increasingly dilute, distal tube blue. The distal tubule regulates the K plus and the NACL concentrations of body fluid. The control movement of ions contributes to pH regulation, collecting ducts. The collecting ducts carries filtrate through the medulla to the renal pivus. Water is loose as well as some salt and urea, and the filtrate becomes more concentrated. Urea is hyperosmotic to body fluid. Solution gradients and water conservations. Urea is much more concentrated than the cooperative action plus previous arrangement of the loops of Helle and collecting ducts are largely responsible for the osmotic gradients that concentrated the urine. NACL and urea contributes to the osmolarities of the interstitial fluid which cause reabsorption of water in the kidney and concentrates cis the urine. The two solute module in the proximal tube blue filtrate volume decreases, but its osmolarity remains the same. The countercurrent multiplayer system involving the loop of Helle maintains a high salt concentration in the kidney. This, this system allows the vasa recta to supply the kidney with 
nutrients without interfering with the osmolarity gradient. Considerable energy is expended to maintain the osmotic gradients between the medulla and cortex. The collecting ducts conducts filtrate through the osmolarity gradients, and more water exists the filtrate by osmosis. You will diffuse it out of the collecting ducts as it transfers the inner medulla. Urea and NaCl from the osmotic gradients that enables the kidney to produce urea that is hyperosmotic to the blood. Adaptations of the vertebrate kidney to diverse environment. The form and functions of nephron in various vertebrate classes are regulates to requirement for osmoregulation in animal habitats. Mammals, the just tema Dualary nephrons contribute to water conservation in terrestrial animals. Mammals that inhibit dry environment have long loops of hele, which those in fresh water have relatively short loops. Birds and other reptiles. Birds have shorter loops of hele but converse, conserve water by excreting uric acid instead of urea. Other reptiles have only contrical. Nephrons but also excrete nitrogenous waste as uric acid. Freshwater fishes, amphibians, marine bony fishes. Freshwater fishes conserve water, conserve salt in their distal tubules and excrete large volume of dilute urine. Kidney function in amphibians is similar to freshwater fishes. Amphibians conserve water on land by reabsorbing water from the urinary bladder. Marine bony fish are hypoosmotic compared with their environment and excrete very little UV. Hormonal circuits link kidney function, water balance, and blood pressure. Mammals control the volume and osmolarities of UV by nerves and hormonal control of water and sub reabsorption, reabsorption in the kidney. <coughs> Antidiuretic hormone equal to ADH increase. Cis water reabsorption in the distal tubes and collecting ducts of the kidney and increase in osmolarity triggers the release of ADH, which helps to conserve water. Mutation in ADH products causes self dehydration and result in diabetes insipidus. Alcohol is a diuretic, it inhibits the release of ADH. The reigning angiotensin. Aldosterone system. The renin angiotensin aldosterone system, or RAS, is part of a complex feedback circuit circuits that function in hemostasis. A drop in blood pressure near the glomerulus causes the adjunctic glomerular apparatus equal to J, JGA to release the enzyme renin. Renin triggers the functions of the peptide angiotensin 2. Angiotensin 2 raises blood pressure and decreases blood flow to the kidney, stimulates the release of the hormone aldosterone, which increases blood volume and pressure. Homeostatic regulations of the kidney. ADH and RAAS both increase water reabsorption, but only RAAS responds to a decrease in blood volume. Another hormone, atrial neutral uretic peptide ANP, opposes the RAAS. NAP is released in response to an increase in blood volume and pressure and inhibits the release of renin. And this is a picture. And finished. Thank you for listening. Bye-bye. See you next time.